You're looking well, Paul. How's the family, Paul? I, I'm glad you can make it, Paul. Uh, but boss, my name is Jerry. Paul, the first rule of business, don't correct the boss. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. That's it. Uh, sorry, sir. Don't worry about it, Paul. What are you having? Grill? Mm, I thought I would try the stick. Have you ever had buffalo? Delicious meat. Have the buffalo. I swear it tastes it like it kind of wide up. Absolutely superb. You are having the buffalo because everything else on the menu is crap. You hear me? Crap. Because they, they should only serve buffalo here. Because everything else tastes like boiled crap. Boiled crap. Buffalo sandwich. Waiter. Yes, sir. My friend and I are ready to order. Wonderful, sir. My friend will have the buffalo. Excellent. And for sir. I'll have the steak. Wonderful. What will you be eating this afternoon? We'll have the Chateau Don Fresco. Wonderful choice, sir. I'll be back with your hotel in just a few moments. Okay, now, Paul, let's get down to business. Uh, yes, sir. I want to start with marketing. But, boss, I thought we were here to talk about sales. Paul, second rule of business don't correct the boss. But, boss, I thought. That was the first rule of business. Paul, 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 Paul. You're not off to good start, Paul. Oops. Sorry, sir. Don't worry about it, Paul. The reason I want to talk sales with you is... So, are we going to talk sales now? Do you hate me, Paul? Why? No, sir. Come on, Paul. You can see. No, 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 sir. I, I don't hate you, sir. Paul, you know and I know that you want to drive this steak knife right to my freaking heart. No, I don't hate you, sir. Come on, Paul. Do it. Drive this steak knife right into my heart. Come on, Paul. Do sir. Do it, Paul. End me. Kill me. Right in this freaking four-star restaurant. Do it, Paul. No, sir. Good decision, Paul. Good decision. Because, you know, there was just a trick. Uh, 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 I kind of figured that you were not serious, sir. I didn't want you to stab me with this knife. Uh, yes, sir. It's alright, Paul. That was just a joke. Joke time is over. Now we're here to talk business. Uh, okay, sir. Where would you like to start? I want to start with sales. Uh, good sir, because I happen to have sales figures right. No, 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 no. I'm not going to talk about our, our sales. I'm going to talk about the sales of Dramatic Pause, Head and Heart. Head and Heart? What is that sir? Head and Heart! I don't understand sir. Are they a competitor? No, Paul. They are not our competitor. So, why are we going to talk about their sales, sir? Paul, did I tell you about the third rule of business? Uh, can I guess, sir? I have to guess, Paul. I'm gonna tell you. Don't correct the boss. Sorry again, sir. Don't worry about it, Paul. Now back to head and heart. So, why are we going to talk about their sales, sir? Whoa, slow down, Paul. You're on fire here. Don't you want to know what they make? I guess so, sir. Make dramatic pause. Bin back chairs. Bin back chairs? That's right, Paul. Bin back chairs. So, why are we going to talk about their sales, sir? Paul, let me ask you a question. What does our company do? We make and sell computers, sir. That's right, Paul. We make and we sell computers. You like you sound like a hard worker. Do you work weekends? 
sometimes sell. Good, that's good. We make and we sell computers. But I don't know if you know this, Paul, but computers are very hard to make. Have you ever made, have you tried to make a computer, Paul? Oh, no, sir. Let me tell you, it's hard. Okay? It's, it's, it, they got all sort of wires and chips in there. You know, one time I tried to make a computer using a rubber band and a Vaseline. You know what happened, Paul? No, sir. It blew up. It blew up right in my freaking face. And that's when I thought, I don't know a damn thing about computers. I don't even know who invented computers. Do you, Paul? I think it was... Johnny Computers. Exactly. That's what I thought. But you know what? I think we're wrong. There's no Johnny Computers or Albert H. Dodoran or Philip B. Toaster. These people don't exist. And that's when I thought of Santa Claus. Uh, Santa Claus, sir? Santa Claus, you know what I'm talking about, right? A big fat guy wearing red suit and come once in a year. What is it? Christmas? Christmas! No, he's a fat man, right? And that's when I thought, most fat people don't have any purpose in life. I mean, they don't. They just sit on their asses and eat all day. It's a fact. So, I thought, since they're not doing anything, why not just let people sit on them, right? Oh God. And then I realized that wouldn't work. Of course, sir. Because if little kids sit on them, they try to eat them, right? So instead of fat people, we use beanbag chairs. Close. Let the children sit on the beanbag chairs and let the adults sit on the fat people. Oh my God. And then. I thought of you. Me, sir. I would like you to head up this division, Paul. Sir, I must respectively decline. Starting at a 500k a year. What? Wait, wait, wait. We'll, we'll make it 550. Just to be on the safe side. On the, the safe side, sir? And of course, you will make a new office. A new office? Yes, a, a corner office with one, no, two, two secretaries. Two secretaries, sir? Yes. And an expense account. And keys to the executive washroom, sir? Yes. Don't be ridiculous, Paul. Oh, oh, sorry, sir, sorry. You will have your own private washroom. This is an important project. I want you to dump in peace oh great sir great great so can i count on you paul sir let me be the first man to congratulate you on your new beanbag chair fat people and devil we're gonna be rich paul very very rich i hope so sir so here's to business paul to business sir Okay, now, where's the waiter to my buffalo? Uh, I had the buffalo, sir. Paul, did I ever tell you about the fourth rule of business? Don't correct the boss. Mm -hmm.